Mike, what's that thing around your neck here? Dude, I put the necklace on for the pod. That's pretty baller. Lightning bolt. Can also one of my favorite things. Oh. If you guys haven't noticed, I put lightning bolts so on like a third of my yeah. designs. Okay. I, I, I do like the lightning bolt. I feel like it fits the brand. But when I look at you and just being that I know you, I can't say I would pick your emblem to be a lightning bolt. <laughs> Speed. It kind of looks like yeah. that. It, Speed. It looks like you're a running strikes back. Strikes quick. Strikes fast. Yeah, that's <laughs> such a running back. That's yeah, like a running back. Uh, I mean, it kind of looks like a Chargers or yeah, Chargers logo. Uh, but when I saw you wearing that, I was like, it looks like you're like a D three off brand running back. What is it? I feel like I would pick your logo to be a moon. A moon. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Is it diamonds? Up like, at night. What's on it? Let me see. Up this. all night. Up all uh, night, Mike. Yeah, I mean, they're not real, well, but... You got backwards, CJ. Where'd oh, you get it? They're not real. GLD. It was oh, like 150 oh, bucks. Yeah. You know, the G, like the, the one that everyone gets Instagram ads for. It's pretty cool. I have always wondered what the like the quality of, of uh, it their seems products fine. are. I not, think, not I think like the like quality is there, but like nothing's real. Yeah. You know? You know how Sick. CJ's got his little ATM side business? My new side business is going to be making Alibaba shipping sites and just advertising just things that Micah wants. <laughs> and then maybe Ryan, <laughs> Jason Lawrence. And there, there's just like a, a steady decrease in like my cash flow and a <laughs> majorly steady increase in Ryan's. I start driving Lambo. I start driving Ranger. <laughs> the problem with those, like the Shop GLD, I think it's cool. I like it. But like... It's very, to me at least, I can tell it's like fake just from looking, you know. And like well, I've, I've and been with in me, like you'll bars always know it's fake, right? It'll never but like be I've real. also like been in bars and stuff, and and uh, some of you, like I've just seen people, and I can tell when they're wearing the shop GLD chain. And I think for some things, it's fine. It does its purpose. Like almost that chain without the lightning bolt is just fine to be a fake chain. You don't need to go to Tiffany and Co and spend fifteen thousand dollars on that chain. Get the get the. $80 chain, totally fine. But sometimes when you get bigger yeah, jewelry, yeah. if you're trying to make it look like a flex, yeah, then I feel that's like... That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. I don't have to do an accent piece, just fine. But if you're like trying to be really styled out... I don't think there's anything wrong with having fake jewelry. I'm just saying it's like obviously fake, at least to me. So like if you were somebody who's like, I'm going to go to shop GLD, wear this chain around and try to like flex on people... It ain't going to work, in well, my fuck, opinion. There goes that sponsor. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Me and CJ went into a jewelry store just to see what they had. And uh, CJ puts on one of these Cuban link necklaces. In yeah. Kind of looked like a bulldog in it. It was it like was a sweet. smaller one. It was pretty cool. And he goes, how much is this? And the I guy was, goes, um, that one's 55. He's 5,500. No, 55,000. Yeah. And, I and fucking me and CJ look at each other and he's I don't, like, I'm going to just take this off right now. I don't now. know what he was thinking. <laughs> letting me just try it on that easily. Did, did we look like, we look like a couple of idiot goons walking in there. Yeah. I, no, I, I legit thought it was 10 K max. And that's max. A, I was not. That's I was a lot. not expecting that's it to be fifty five. I figured it was going to be expensive, but not fifty five. Yeah, I think that, that was not worth fifty five. And it was, it was pretty small too. It like wasn't yeah. even one that. So was that's really what like, really gets me thinking. Oof. Ever since that moment, whenever I see like Jake Paul or rappers or whoever with these big diamond chains, assuming that they are real, how much oh, money they've got to have a hundred racks in those things? Well, if yeah, not more. How about Justin Jefferson? Since we got him oh, up there, yeah, like those chains. He's, he's wearing, wearing them during the game. Yeah, that's and, such a flex. And, and Dude, so I'm pretty sure his teeth are. Uh, yeah, he like, has, his amazing. grills are like 200 grand. Whoa! And he plays with them in. So I, what's up with that? Because like, if they have grills in, that counts as a mouthpiece too. Does it actually? No, I think he still wears a mouth guard oh, he over does? that. I know somebody asked they're like, why would he play in that? And I was like, Baller. this is his TV moment. Like, yeah, this is when he's too. on TV smart. This is when he should be wearing it. Yeah, I think he's cooler it, it, because of it. Yeah, it works definitely. because Frank. it works because Justin Jefferson is the best wide receiver in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty cool that he's wearing grills and chains and, and like, Huge I don't know, he's got this look to him, right? But yeah. it but wouldn't be that he's cool. Not a dick. If he, yeah, he's but honest. it wouldn't be that cool if he wasn't making catches and, and making plays if the way that he is. There is a lot of guys that, that wear chains, though, and grills. Mm -hmm. I remember Marshawn Lynch played with a grill in. But Two, also was really good. Yeah. $200,000 for his grills. And is that He wears, wow. like, three chains, too. Yeah, yeah, he's... Wow. I feel like if you got hit and like, or you yeah. things rubbing, wouldn't diamonds fall out of that? I'm sure that that thing's got to be built well. Diamonds yeah. are tough, dude. They're like one of the toughest. That's true. Uh, you know, but they're only on as earth. tough as how well they're held in there. But That's true. I'm assuming yeah. they're well made. When did the NFL pass that you could wear jewelry? 
I don't know. I think it was rather recent. recent, Five years ago. Because uh, I remember Odell Beckham Jr. was wearing a Richard Milley watch for a game, and he got fined like $50,000 for for wearing a uh, watch. Just a watch. $250,000 watch. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm.